Hello, my second grade English friends. Today in English, we are going to be working on workbook page 51. So get out your workbooks and a pencil. While you're doing that, I'm gonna tell you a little bit about what we're talking about. Put your name at the top. And I know you're like, why do we have to write our name, Mrs. Connor? Because it's good practice for when we're back in school. Okay, we're gonna be talking about the word couplet today. What's a couplet? A couplet, and this is our little um, box up here of clues, this little yellow box up here. A couplet is a poem made of two sentences that rhyme, that rhyme. So they're in the same word family. So if you think back to first grade in spelling, we are spelling this, we're broken down into usually three different word families. And that just means <clears throat> that the sound is very similar it's just the beginning letter changes. So um, you'll, you'll see a picture of a snowman here and you'll see our writing process we went over all last week. <clears throat> and we have two sentences down here about, they're the, about the poem, about the snowman. But I want you to listen to the ending words, they rhyme. So let's read it together. I built a snowman under a tree. I gave him eyes so that he could see. Okay? <clears throat> so if you look down to the next little, or, or the first orange diamond, there's your set of directions. It says to circle the words that rhyme in the poem um, above. So I'm gonna just remind myself by that we have to circle these words up here. So the word tree, and usually in a couplet um, poem, the rhyming words come at the end of the sentence. And then we have the word C. So I built a snowman under a tree. I gave him eyes so that he could see. Okay, so go ahead and circle those. Then our next set of directions, we see our, another, our next uh, orange diamond. That just tells us now we need to do something different. Write a rhyming word for each word below. So number one, the word is light. Light. You're going to write what Mrs. Connor writes because we're going to be following our writing process in the rest of what we're writing tomorrow. So just write what I write. So light. And you might think of some other words than Mrs. Connor, but we are going to write the word sight with an S. But the ending's the same, I-G-H-T, sight, okay? The number two, the word is book, book. So I think the word look, look over there, my friends. Look and book rhyme. They have the same ending, the first letter changes. Hat, hat, I'm gonna write sat. Okay, and the last word, fish, fish. And Mrs. Connor is gonna write swish. So this has the same ending, but a two letter change at the beginning instead of just one. Now friends, are there other words that we could write on the board? Absolutely, and you know what? If we were in school, you guys would all be taking turns coming up <clears throat> and writing different rhyming words on the board but we can't do that here. So just go ahead and write the words that I wrote. Are there other words that rhyme with hat? Sure, we have sat, mat, rat, um, pat, if pat on the back, there's lots of other words. These are the words we're gonna write just for this, uh, this time only, okay? All right, moving on. You will follow the steps of the writing process as you write a couplet with your teacher. Now today, all we're gonna do is copy the draft that we're gonna write down here um, that we wrote in class and we're gonna circle the words that rhyme. So I already have one made. You're gonna just copy it and then tomorrow we will pick up and do some more steps in the writing process. So these are the sentences I came up with. And you're just gonna copy nice and neat. The snowman. And I just kept it with a snowman theme because since that's what we were talking about. The snowman wore a black.
black hat. Is that what our picture says? Okay. And if you run out of room, you can just write it on the bottom or another piece of paper, that's fine. On its head. I'm going to switch colors because I'm going to circle the words that rhyme. I want you to do that too. So while you're finishing writing that, you can either pause me if you need more time, but I want you to hear what we wrote. The snowman wore a black hat. On its head is where it sat. So those are our rhyming words at the bottom, hat and sat, and you're going to circle them. And if you want to circle them in another color, because I know you like to use markers and things, that is fine, no problem. Okay, that's it for today's lesson. Um, on Jupiter, I attached a worksheet called Rhyming Words, and that's going to be your homework for tonight um, and Tuesday. I don't think I have it due until Wednesday, because that's what I always do in school. I try to give you um, a couple days to get it done, okay? All right, my friends, that's it for today, and I'll meet you back here tomorrow.